right, so here's our element cube again. Carbon. Yeah, it's carbon. It's got all that great information on it. But it, if you put all the element cubes together, what do you get? I think you get a big periodic, periodic table. table. Yay. If you notice, each one of these is its own little element cube. Yeah, wait, there's carbon right there. Oh, look. there's oh, wait, carbon. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's look. Yeah, carbon. Six. It, yeah, six. It's all thing. the same. Very good. Very okay. good. Okay. So why do we even have this? What is this even here for? It's a lot of, that's a lot of letters and numbers yeah. and stuff. You think they just threw them up there and said, here you go? They did not, as a matter of fact. They did not. There's oh. a, an arranged in a certain order. Okay, so what order are they in? Oh, well, first of all, they are in periods. Periods, okay. Yeah, periods. So, like, that would be like, oh, yeah, this, just like this. this? Yeah, like, this would be a period going this way and you can see a couple things about the periods for one they go up by atomic number one every time so 19 okay. 20, 21 22. so they just go in order down this row they do so okay. all of these are different oh well we just <laughs> lost our cube oh well so yeah all of these go by by okay. by up by one so, so if we, we put, put that, that there one. okay all of those are in the same period right 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 okay so so that How do we know be, what period it is, though? Well, there's a little number right here. So that we know that is period four. Okay, now, so all of these... So we'll put it at period four. Okay. On this row are, are all three. in the same period. Right. Okay. So period four goes all the way across. Right, so we can put it all the way across. Let's, let's do it. That's enough. Let's, let's just, just put, put it all the way across. All the way across. All the way. Quick! Okay. <laughs> Alright, so this entire thing is period four. Yay! Yay! Okay. Okay, well how else are they organized? Hmm. What about these numbers? You said these oh, yeah, are yeah. periods, there's numbers here too. There's These are group numbers, or sometimes called families. Families, right. Right. Okay, okay. So, so those go up and down. Up and down. Right. So, like there's this. our friend Carbon. Oh, Carbon, hi Carbon. Okay. Okay, so he goes up and down. Right. So, like right here? Yeah, like right there. Okay, so this whole thing... What kind of family do we call him? Uh, well, because it's a, it could be group number 14. Okay. But I really like to call them families because that makes more sense to me. This is the carbon family. So, so all of them. Yeah, all of them okay. are part of the carbon family. So like this. And unlike the periods, families are related. Like, you know, you're related to your brothers and sisters and, mm -hmm. you know, your, your family. They're related. They have similar properties. So, like, if I have brown hair and my mom has brown hair? Right. Exactly. Okay. Uh, even though you're not exactly the same. Right, but we're similar. But you're similar. So, okay. carbon family is similar in a lot of ways. They react, for example, they react with oxygen. All of them react well with oxygen. So, they're similar in that way. Okay. As opposed to the periods that really, they, they're not similar at all. Like, like this end and this end don't don't even know each other at all. So it's just the families that are similar. Right. Okay. Right. So how do we know the difference between what's over here and what's over here? Does that uh, matter? Well, it does actually. There is some, also some things there. For example, this side over here is very reactive. It means they blow up. Oh. They they will react with other things. They're very explosive. And oh, here we go. Their most reactive families are right there. Okay, we could do so that. So that's one characteristic that family has in common, is right. that they all react with other elements easily. That's right. Okay. Now, if those are most reactive, as we go across, they're going to become a little less, a little less, little a little less, less little reactive, less. until you get over here to the nobles. The nobles. The nobles family. The snob The fam snob family. They are very snob. Why are they called noble gases? Well, they don't like to hang out with other people, really. Uh, other elements. They, they just like to be them by themselves. By themselves. Yeah. The royalty. The royals. Yeah, so they don't they don't mix with the common elements. No, these are the very least reactive family. Okay. Over here, the noble gases. Noble gases. Yes. So as you go okay. across, very they good. become less reactive. So very most reactive, mm -hmm. like blowing up reactive, to don't react with anything. In fact, right. they just stay all by themselves. Right. They don't form compounds or anything. Great. Right. All right. So what else do we have? Oh wait, there's some other things okay. right here too. Here. Let's oh. talk about this. What is this? Well, this looks like an outline of the periodic table. Okay. And it also shows us that everything to the left over here 
is a metal. Metals, okay. Like, okay. Uh, well, let me see here. I'm looking. There's iron and silver and gold. and So those are all metals, metals obviously, metal. right? And then over here on the right, you have non-metals. Okay, good. So like our oxygen and nitrogen. sulfur, nitrogen, all of those things. Okay, okay. Okay, but then you also have this line that goes down, kind of like a stair step. We call that the zigzag line. Okay. And along is here... Is that on there, too? Yeah, that's on here. Let me move our carbon family. Oh, okay. You, you can, can see barely it. see it right yeah, there. It's yeah, it's in red. Okay. And the elements along here are called metalloids. They have properties of metals and non-metals. So we can't classify them as one or the other. They're just their own Because they're, they're borders. They're border like. Borderline, they're, they're, right? Yeah, they're borderline. They're both metals and non-metals or yeah. neither. Either way you think yeah. that, you know. But they're kind of borderline right. elements. Okay. okay, so you can tell if there's an element over here, you automatically know it's going to be a metal because of where it's located on the periodic table. Okay, well let me see. Okay. I've got some metalloids here. Let's, okay. just, let's just label them real quick. Okay. So we've got, um, here, you can help me with this. All of these. Okay. So silicon and, and boron. So and you can kind of see how they're all we're draining each other's right there. And right there. Yeah, exactly. So they're all so along that, that zigzag line there. Okay. They're all along that zigzag line. Okay. okay, great. So just to recap really fast. Okay. We got a couple of things that you need to remember right. about the periodic table. Let's go. All right. Periods go which direction? Periods are go side to side. Side to side. Good. Okay. So left they go right. from left to right. The atomic number increases by one as you go across. 38, 39, 40, and it'll go across. And these do not have similar properties. They are just in a line together because their atomic number increases by one every time. Groups and families go up and down, so like this, and these will have similar properties. They will react in similar ways. Okay, so anything else? Um, no, I, I, I guess that's everything. Is there, is there anything else that you can think of that... Well, what would happen if we put some of these elements together? Okay, like, like kind of made compounds out of the yeah. elements? Yeah, let's see what kind of compounds we can make. Okay, so... All right, let's just, um, here, give me some and we'll see if we can figure it out. Okay. All right, here we go. So we got... I want you to okay. add sulfur. Silver. So, um, sulfur. No, sulfur. Okay, sulfur. sulfur. So that would be S. S. So we're going to add S, S plus what? Tungsten. Tungsten. Wait a minute, i got to find tungsten. tungsten. Okay, tungsten's right here. Tungsten is W. Okay. I, remember how we said that the... Symbol sometimes yeah, doesn't Yeah, the symbol really. doesn't match. So, tungsten, got it. Okay, and so then, we have that, and then what do we have? We want silver. Silver, all silver, uh, right there, A, G. Okay. So, we have that, and it's a G, and... What does that give us? Swag! swag yeah, swag, 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 swag,